Hello everyone. Here I will show you how to install the CCDC Mercury for free. In case you don't know what it is, it is a useful tool to visualize 3D crystal structures. Um, and it's uh, integrated with the, the CSD database. So you can get access to uh, uh, millions of uh, small molecule crystal structures. Um, you can visualize them, manipulate them, and uh, it, you can have a lot of uh, uh, metadata on the crystal structure as well. Okay, so to install it, um, they provide the so-called CSD community license, which essentially means you can just download it for free and, uh, and use it for free. So I will include the download link in the um, video description so it's basically this link and you can download from uh, this mercury depending on the uh, operating system you have and if you use the community license you will not be able to access all their uh, structures um, you you will only be able to access the so-called teaching data the database which contains uh, maybe 700 or whatever structures but you can still download uh, structures from website you can download the dot zip files uh, let me see structures yeah i will also include this link link in the video description so you can search either the identifier or the compound name let's say we do cementing and we search it it will show you all the matches let's say you can see this is cementing cementing 01 02 they might be the same structure or might be polymorphs uh, we can click one of them and then you can download the zip file So if you download a zip file, then you can import it into the Mercury. Uh, okay, um, so here I already have some uh, data entries. And uh, you can create packings just by clicking this. And you can see contacts. Say hydrogen bond or short contact. If you want to do uh, um, larger uh, supercells, you can go to the calculate and uh, packing and slicing. Then you can do two by two by two or three by three by three or whatever you want um, along any directions. Another thing I find it useful is to uh, um, to see the symmetries. Oh, where is it? It's here under display symmetry elements. So it will show you what are the symmetries. I think it might be easier to see the one by one by one. So calculate, packing, slicing, and uh, reset. So you can see where the mirror planes are, where the inversion centers are, etc. Um, Another thing is you can go here to see chemical diagrams and you can see so it, it contains a lot of metadata like where this structure comes from say this paper formulas and uh, the cell lens Z prime uh, sometimes it will also tell you whether there's a disorder so overall it's a very useful tool um, very useful for visualization. Okay, I think that's all I want to cover for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Oh, uh, another thing is, uh, I mean, it's very simple. You just install it. And, uh, and there's a choice of uh, what license you want to use. You just say uh, they can choose a community license. And then you can use it for free. 
uh, yeah, it will contain this teaching database. Another thing I remember is I recall I used to uh, use, I mean, at some point I used an older version of the uh, Mac OS. And at that time, I downloaded an earlier version, maybe one of maybe the legacy version of Mercury. And if I remember correctly, this allows me to access all the data data set. I mean, in some sense, you always have uh, have access to all the data sets, but you need to go to the web API to to find them. But uh, I remember the the legacy version automatically contains all the all the structures there. So. So um, you may want to consider that if your Mac OS is older than certain version. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.